Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at my BoxyCharm for October. Um, in this month's box, there's a couple of skincare items. I have already been using the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And it's fine. I mean, it works. It smells amazing. Ooh. So you pull off the little tab and you can see I've been using mine. It smells like sherbet, like green sherbet. It smells so good and it like it does melt away your makeup but really I don't know if this is an extra step that I actually need because I already washed my face twice you know once to get the makeup off and then again to actually cleanse the skin so and I like I'll use it up because it does work and it smells good and it doesn't seem to irritate my skin um, but after that I don't know if this is something that I would repurchase and then we have this black lace bamboo peel off mask so I'm going to make up so that I can go ahead and do this so let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll get into the makeup after okay so there's a little tube and oh some little lace pieces let's see what the directions say they say to apply it an even layer of paste to targeted areas So some of these, like, I don't know if you guys have used a peel-off mask, but some of them can be really, really intense and really hurt, and others do not. But usually these black ones make me nervous because they definitely feel like the I'm going to hurt whenever you pull me off kind. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply an even layer. I'm going to avoid, like, here, any little mustache hairs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this, and then I will come back with the lace part and figure out what to do. Okay, so we've got it on, and it smells kind of minty, and it's tingling, like a cool tingling sensation. And then it says to line up the lace, so we're going to go ahead and put these on what is the point though like why the lace why I don't know if it's a peel off mask do you need this or is this just for looks I feel like Halloween Oh. It's not okay. What is this one? Oh, you get a second one. Okay, you can do it twice. So it says to let it sit here for 15 to 20 minutes. So I will see you back in 15 to 20 minutes. Bye. Okay, so actually sitting here and reading the directions, which I don't tend to do. I don't tend to read the package, and I just kind of tend to do things. Except I wanted to make sure I did this in the right steps. I feel like I'm talking really weird because of this part right here. But um, it says that the lace compression mask is supposed to help for greater adhesion, resulting in intensive deep skin detoxification. So I guess it's just pushing the peel-off mask in even further. And then it says that it's supposed to help the peel-off process, so it'll want me to pull it down instead of most peel-off masks you peel up. I don't know. So we're just going to keep it sitting. I've got about 10 more minutes, and I will be back. Okay, I think we are ready. Let's go ahead and untuck it from the ears and do what it says to pull down. Oh. Whoops. Ah. I guess I was wrong. It was not all the way dry. But that worked. That made it so easy to pull it off. And now I just have to go and wash off all this residue. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my face on. 
basically everything that I need. I did forget to do my brows. I'll do them later. Um, I got my bronzer, foundation, concealer, powder, and I am ready to get into this Pure Cosmetics palette. Oh, that's, that's cute. I had a lace mask, and this has a mask, and the Superhero Mascara. I wonder if that's kind of like the theme for the box, because you know normally they have a theme. Hold on. Alter Ego? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So we're going to get into this palette. They have... Is that a highlight? Or just a blush? I think that might be a highlighter. Well, I'm surprised it doesn't say anywhere. Okay. But then different blushes and eyeshadows. So we're going to go ahead and go... I guess into this blush, it's a bit dark for what I tend to go for. I tend to like like this color, not like this color. Okay, let's get my blush brush. Lightly dip into that. Try a little more. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. But also, not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Whenever I try a new blush, like a darker blush, every time I first apply it, I cringe. I don't like it at all. And then as I wear it throughout the day, it looks better. And I'll just take my sponge and I'll lighten it up just a little bit. Like this side seems kind of patchy and not... There we go. See, that's a little better. We'll give it a, give it a chance. Just taking some of the excess foundation that I have for my brush. Mm. Okay, we're gonna move on for now. And go into the highlighter. Here. I kind of want to try. So I need to clean my brushes like this one. Because I use them quite a bit. So we'll try this one. I feel like this side is much more highlighted because I've been using that highlighter brush with other highlighters that are more like pow in your face. But this seems like more of a light natural highlight. So let's go ahead and set the face. Okay, I am 
gonna do my brows really quick and then we'll get back to the eyeshadow. Okay, so now let's go into the eyeshadows. So I don't really like a palette like this because, yeah, I don't wanna blind you guys. There's only one matte shade and everything else is shimmer and it's a very dark matte shade so I'm just gonna go lightly in with it at first. I feel like it kind of limits what you can do with just this palette. You'd have to go into another one. And put some on the outer corner as well. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this green shade down here. And just pat that across the lid. That green color is really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to go take a small brush and put that brown color underneath just lightly And then we will take a little, another little brush and just go into this highlighter shade right here. Pop that on the inner corner. And I'll put it on my brow bone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be back with some mascara. Okay, so we have the Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't seem to be clumpy. Let me grab a mirror. It's adding a good bit of length to my eyelashes. I think I like this. I do. I think I really like it. Because I don't like a clumpy mascara, I like one that's going to add some length, maybe some volume, but not like clump them together. And this does that pretty well.
Well, so this is a very long uh, mascara wand. Gotta be careful. Okay, I'm gonna take my... This is from Morphe and it just helps to comb through and separate because I got a little clumpy down on these bottom lashes. But I feel like that was more my fault because this one, this bottom lash always gives me trouble. And I feel like my eye makeup looks a lot better having the mascara on. I definitely like the mascara. Let's go ahead and get into the lipstick. This is a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. This is in the shade Hawkwind. Okay, so we'll give this a second to dry down. It's a very dark color for me. We'll see if I like it. So, final thoughts on the box while I let this dry down. I like this. I like the makeup remover because it really works. And I've been using it every night since I've got it. Although I don't know that I would repurchase it. How much is it? $22. So I'd probably just keep washing my face the way I did before. I got that. The peel off mask. The lace really helped whenever taking it off. And it didn't leave my skin. Is that lipstick? How did that get there? It didn't leave my skin feeling red and irritated. Um, and the mask is $30. It's $30. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, $30 mask. And I saw some brightening to my skin. It worked, but again, I don't think that's something that I would rebuy, but I'm happy to use it because I got it in the box. I like this mascara. I will definitely be using it again in the future. And the palette, the palette. I'm not sure that I would continue to use this in the future. They swatch really nicely. I... Like, I might go back in. Oh my gosh, I gotta get better at that. <laughs> I might go back in for those colors, but I just, I don't like that brown color. You can't use this palette on its own. The blush ended up looking pretty good. The highlighter, pretty natural. So, I don't know. Um, but I just don't tend to like palettes like that, all-in-one face palettes, because they don't, there's so many products in them that you tend to not use. Like, I can't use those deeper shades um, for blush and highlighter. Maybe for eyeshadow, but really, I don't think... Like, I wouldn't... I don't know. Um, the mask... Oh, the lipstick has dried down. 
completely already and it doesn't feel drying. It feels fine. But look at my lips. They look so dry. Um, and it looks... It's harder to see on here. But it looks kind of patchy. I don't... I'm not a big fan of this. Although you guys already know, I don't like lip, liquid lipsticks anyway. So I probably want to reach for it again. I'll just stick to my bullets, my lighter bullet colors. So yeah, uh, that was this month's box. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Normally I like my boxes a lot more than I like this one. So hopefully next month's is better. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!